Good afternoon. It is Thursday, the 8th maybe. I'm in the basement this time. I decided uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time working up in the garage today. Body's kind of tired. Just decided to clean while I was up there and kind of poke around at a couple uh, ongoing projects. <clears throat> so in the meantime, for today, uh, deciding to again take it easy, I'm working on rebuilding the power steering vein pump, which I've already disassembled it. I uh, did that a couple months ago maybe, but I just received the rebuild kit uh, about a week or so ago. So I'm about to start getting into it. Um, <clears throat> some helpful bits would be factory repair manual. So pretty well documented. Um, here we have pretty much all the parts. A couple of them laying over there. A lot going on in there. Way more than I expected. But nothing I nothing out outside of my abilities to rebuild. <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Just wanted to show uh, what I have laid out here before I dive into reassembling this sucker here. So what I did is just uh, opened up the new kit uh, with all the seals, or O-rings mostly. Yeah, mostly O-rings. Uh, and just made sure first off that I have that the kit came with all the correct sizes of O-rings as well as a couple of snap rings and some other things. And then uh, just make sure that I one, have everything, and two, know where all the parts go. So what I did here, uh, the blue towel, the little parts that are on it, all the usable stuff, is all the old. And on the table here is all the new stuff. So I just put everything kind of next to each other, just so I could see quantity-wise what I have. And then over here to the left, uh, I put what part each of the o-rings goes around and now that i'm looking at it a little closer i think those o-rings are two different sizes i think they ever so slightly so i will go ahead i know which one it is because i know the order that i put them in yeah they're definitely different sizes there we go so this side just has uh the parts that the mainly the o-rings go around so we have three here go for these three little ones that guy I still haven't found gotta track down where that goes um did have a couple extra things in here uh, a little snap ring this is for uh the snap ring goes down here to hold this bearing in i think the bearing's good to keep going it spins freely it uh, doesn't make any noise it's not crunchy so I'm not gonna worry about that you have to press it out anyway and I the kit doesn't actually come with a uh, new bearing so just avoiding that and then this Union seat right here I'm not 100% sure I have the, the blown apart diagram right here and I do not see one, a second one so I am just gonna put those to the side for right now Try and track down where this guy might be still on one of these pieces and in worst cases i can just go through here and uh, count all of the o-rings and see if i have similar same quantity going over here so with that oh yeah also uh, this takes uh, automatic transmission fluid so we uh, are going to pre-coat everything all the o-rings before they go in so I just have a little thing of some ATF fluid. So this is calls for Dexron 2, and this is supposed to be equivalent for use in Dexron 3, 3H, and 2. So we're good. And this is actually the stuff I'm going to be putting into the transmission. I've got a bunch of these. I bought these many years ago for another Forerunner that I had. And 
it was an automatic transmission, but I was going to flush the system and everything, but ended up not doing that, getting rid of the truck. And I still had, or my, my mom still had, I think six quarts of this, just sitting in a box still, all still sealed and everything. So going to use it. It's good stuff. Update. Uh, I found out where that little other O-ring went. It's kind of hidden. Actually inside of on the inner side of that. Everything else was on uh, the outside of parts. And this other union seat I found lives inside of there hiding. Now I've tried a little bit to get that thing out but it seems pretty stuck in there. I don't want to damage it in case I can't get it out. So I am putting in a call to the guy that sold me the kit to see if he has any recommendations because as far as the manual is concerned that union seat doesn't even exist in pressure port union. I don't see any union seats there. It's got the other little guy right there for the air control valve. But it doesn't even acknowledge that one exists in there. I thought it may be where the line runs in, which is right here. But there's nothing indicating that one lives in there either. So that might be it for today. Unless I can get uh, his lines busy. So unless I can get through to him or get a call back, that might be it. He's a couple hours behind me as well. So there's that. Good morning. It is Friday, April 9th, and I am back in the garage. Uh, for today, I am we're diving right back into it. Let's see here, we got, this is the power steering vane pump. Got that reassembled last night, or actually, sorry, uh, finished it up this morning. And that is going back in. After that, I will be tearing down the throttle body and rebuilding that. And then hopefully getting that installed today as well. That's a wrap for today. I ended a little bit early because I'm going out to dinner with my brothers and my dad. And I'm kind of in a, I was just at a good stopping point for the day, I guess is the best way of putting it. So I will go over what I've gotten done. We have the power steering pump is reinstalled. Lines are all reconnected, reinstalled the pulley. I removed the distributor cap and replaced what was a very rotten and uh, worn old O-ring between the uh, cap and the body, which also had an actual quarter inch gap missing from it. So I'm glad I picked one of those up. I removed, there was a horn there. If you look back from previous days, there was a horn there and that was for the alarm system. So there's now, that was the wire that ran to it. It's run up through a plug, factory plug. I'm going to have to remove all of this at some point to get, I mean, to get this rat's nest out. It's really tucked up there. Um, this is the oh, this is the alarm system. Here's the main box. I didn't even know it had that until one day I was trying to run a wire for some auxiliary something or other, and discovered that nest down there. I've always just used a key with almost every vehicle I've owned because they're all old. <laughs> Some of it had key fobs, most of it had key fobs, but they've been lost, not old. Not so old that they didn't even have them. Just old <laughs> and gone. The next project was rebuilding the throttle body. 
or mainly just cleaning it. Not a whole lot to rebuild on these, but I went ahead and inside, cleaned inside there as best I could. Didn't get too crazy about it, but got the flapper cleaned up. There was quite a bit of carbon buildup actually on this side. This is the intake side. So I did a pretty good job, but it's still, there's still a little some in there, but I think it's fine. Or I, I'm fine with it, <laughs> at least. I also tested and adjusted the, this is the throttle positioning sensor. Requires just using this guy, getting over to continuity or having a brain fart. It's been a long week. Testing the resistance. Yes, testing the resistance between, uh, between a few different combinations of these pins in here. Adjusted that and installed new Allen head screws for those. They come installed with uh, Phillips head screws and they were, it looks like they'd never been removed before, so that was good. But I nearly had to, I nearly stripped them trying to get them out. And I, I you know, hit them with some PB blaster and did my best to get the right size Phillips head on there. But yeah, it took some effort. And so 22RE performance, they sell the Allen head bolts to replace those as well as these guys. This is the idle air control valve, this body right here. Um, but there's four screws. And again, they're from the factory Phillips head but these, these ones are a little bit bigger than those other two were. And these were, they were even harder almost to get out. So he also sells a kit of Allen's to uh, Allen head bolts to replace those ones. Um, that I didn't replace yet just because unfortunately it was missed when my order was being packed, but that kit for the, with, with the bolts also you need one of these gaskets and that's what goes in between this body and this body so it's this weird special guy here so that has to be shipped still I've got plenty I can still work on with it I mean I could probably get the truck done this weekend if I had everything but I won't have everything on top of I could I still have a couple of electrical components that I ordered from Amazon and somewhere else that I should be here this weekend and Monday or Wednesday, I think, of next week. So either way, and, and those are all mission critical parts. Those are things that I, you know, like the alternator plug, that thing won't be here till Wednesday. I'm not starting it without an alternator plug, so that's okay. <laughs>